Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be sorting out the chaos that is underneath my stairs in the cupboard and look at the cobwebs. I'm gonna be getting rid of those little bad boys because they give me the ooh. And also we've got some DIY going on again today because bit by bit we are fixing up this house and we're getting it back to a, a good standard with a bit of cleaning going on as well. And I do eventually get myself looking somewhat normal, but we're going in, this is what we're starting with take note of the edges of the door and the door frame the color brown oh no the chaos look at that chaos you couldn't even find like a pair of shoes in there you find one and then you have to like take everything out to try and find the other one it's becoming an absolute ridiculous shenanigan in the morning especially on the school mornings when you're in a rush and you're getting sweaty and you're full of bags and god knows what else and you're like we need to get out the door yeah so I need to tackle it. I've been itching to do it under this cupboard for so long, but every time I open it, I'm like, no, and I just shut it away. And I think that's just kind of like normal, isn't it? When you've got a cupboard, that's what it's used for. You just chuck everything in. And you know, when you've got like someone coming over last minute and they say, oh, is it if I pop around in 10 minutes? You're like, oh, everything's going in the cupboard. Chuck everything in the cupboard so that everything looks tidy. Do you know what I mean? But I'm starting by taking everything out, get everything out of that cupboard. And then we're gonna start sorting through it all because i've got coats in here we don't need i've got shoes in here that the kids have grown out of and i knew these baskets would come in handy yes i did i've got a plan for them but i hope everyone's okay hope you're doing really really good really well what's everyone up to i'm uh, i'm doing this yeah and then i'm about to do a spag bowl after i have a shower and whatnot but yeah look at the mess got to sort through all of this and it does take me an age and excuse the state of me i'm in my pajamas i got home from the school run straight back into my pajamas because i got soaked by the by the icy rain and yeah but taking everything out i'm left with this look at the dirty shelves that's all dust and mud from all the shoes where you put them there and the cobwebs hiding behind it is so grim but you won't believe this so when i went and picked the kids up at school today I'm standing there and there was like this group of parents in front of me and they're all chatting, they're really, really nice and it was, it was, you know, it was alright, I didn't pay much attention but they were all just, you know, smiling away and chatting, I thought, fair enough. And then one of them says, oh I best go and she walks off and they'll say goodbye with smiles and this is why I only have two friends. People can say, oh you don't wonder why you don't have many friends, I have two friends and there is a reason for that. She walked away. And they all started going, oh, I went to her house the other day. Have you seen her house? Have you been around hers? Oh, and they started slagging her off. And I thought that's absolutely vile. That is absolutely vile. I couldn't believe it. But here we go. Sorting out all the coats and backpacks and like which one's got a zip broken and which has got scuffs all over the bottom. And we've got so many backpacks, it's ridiculous. I mean, do we need all these? Probably not. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm pairing them out into like different sections of what can go to charity because we don't need it anymore it's too small and what's damaged or just just no and that can go in the bin and then I've got a pile that I'm going to wash so coats that are usable and we can still use them they will go in the wash so that's what I'm doing at the moment but I mean it's just it's, it's unbelievable really isn't it I mean we're, no one's perfect I'm not perfect no one's perfect we all have flaws and we all have perfections and we're all doing our best you know we're trying to do everything we can but my goodness me i don't know how anyone can stand there and be smiley smiley to someone's face and then the second they walk away be like oh my god like it's worse than a flipping it's worse than a group of eight-year-old girls in the playground that's what it is it's way worse than that I am so glad that it is Friday, like honestly, I was having one of those days today, it took me a while to get into this cupboard, but when I did, you know, thank god I got it done, but I'm having one of those days today where it's like, you feel really emotional, and you just like, want your kids to come out of school, so I spend a lot of my time thinking, oh, I want to cuddle them, or I want to hold their hand, I want to smell them, and squeeze them, and all that, usually if it's sank on the news that's really horrible or i've watched a program that really like tugs at the heartstrings and i'm like constantly missing them and i can't wait i'm constantly looking at the clock i'm like oh i can't wait to go and get them and then i get them and yeah give it an hour and i'm like why for the love of god why am i going through this someone help me can they get back to school and then they fall asleep and i'm like all over again oh, look at my beautiful little cherubs look how beautiful they look just laying there sleeping looking so angelic 
until they open their eyes and their toes start to twitch and they wake up like rising out of a coffin and they're like can I have wee toes in milk please and I'm like oh my god here we go again bless their little hearts honestly I don't think I could survive a day without them but yeah they do they do grind it you know what I mean so I'm sorting out everything that was chucked in this cupboard that don't need to be there why have we got odd tiles in there look at all the rubbish I honestly don't understand how it gets in here but it's really really oh, do you know at this point I was really nervous that a spider was going to come running out because I was like pulling things out the corner and whatnot and I was like oh, if I see it I think I did hoover one out of there actually I thought I saw something run and it went up the hoover vile but yeah going in with this this gets so much up it's satisfying all the mud you could hear it clonking up the um up the hoover oh I love that the one thing I don't like is sucking up the cobwebs because even though it's nice to get rid of them obviously you don't want them there when they're really thick and they're hiding in the corners I always think that something's gonna come running out and I always imagine them to just run out and then jump in my face like no spider's gonna do that they're gonna run for their lives in fear but I feel like it's going to run out and be like, why are you hoovering up my web? And then launch itself, full leg spread, onto my face like something out of Alien. Terrifies me, it does. Yeah. So I didn't upload um, as frequently this week. I've had a bit of a thigh knee issue going on, but it's all good. I did make it worse this morning because I was on a downer. And when I walked the kids to school, I decided to do a full walk all the way around in the icy cold rain. And I'm not joking, it was like freezing cold are hailstones and my thighs went from freezing cold to burning and stinging because it was so cold I've never had that before and it was horrendous like when I got in I literally cuddled the radiator I, I must have looked like a right idiot the way I was perching against the radiator but there we go look at all these oh they're so grim. They are so grim. And they, they seem to bind themselves around the end of the nozzle of the... Oh, it's just so disgusting. You think you're putting your coats and everything in there. And your shoes. The amount of times I get wellies out of here that haven't been used for like five months and I get some wellies out and I'm like, what's living in them? I have to like shake them out. I can never put my hand straight into a shoe. That's not been, you know, oh, thoroughly checked. But then I'm going on to take off the hook dust that down a little bit and then we're gonna go on to painting it with this little bad boy yeah i was really excited to do this because i hate this brown door it's so depressing it looks so old it looks so dated and it's like i'm on this and i'm gonna enjoy every minute of it did i no it was tedious it was driving me insane at first i was like i'm loving this this is great look at the change but then when it started to dry you could see it's gonna need another coat and i thought it better not need more than two because i'm not doing it i refuse I refused to do two coats and more than two coats on this door. I didn't do, I, I just did two. And um, yeah, it was it was horrendous. I didn't enjoy it for longer than about 10 minutes. And then I was getting really fed up. But my eldest son came down and bless him, he put the kettle on and I shouted, oh, is that the kettle? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, mmm. And then bless him, he made a cup of tea, which was quite nice. And yeah, I constantly got meowed at by my cat because she wanted feeding, but Nick had gone food shopping. So she had to wait. She had biscuits, but she didn't have um, she didn't have that pouch, and I'm still going with this blimmin' door. Like, you know, when you start something, you're like, oh, look at it, it's come along so nice. I've got such a good idea, and I can't wait to get it out and yeah, love it. But then when you start it, and you're like, why am I doing this? Why? I even did the edges because obviously these things, you know, you see them every time you go in and out of the cupboard. So I did all the edges as well and got rid of all that brown. I can't hear out my ears again. I haven't told you that, have I? For some reason, they've gone. And every time I move my jaw, I can feel like crunkling going around. It's driving me insane. I can't hear properly. And then when I swallow, they block even more. So I don't know what's going on there. I think I'm due a, I'm due a checkup for these bad boys because the hearing is not great. But still going around the edges, I did manage to get the second coat on quite quickly because I'm not joking, this, this paint dries so quickly it is insane but I was in such a tight little space I was like I'm gonna get paint everywhere funny enough I didn't I didn't have it in my hair I didn't have it on my clothes I had a tiny little bit on my finger and that's about it so I was really winning on that side of it I thought I'd do up here as well because it looked a bit odd didn't it so I was initially going to paint the under the stairs there where it's all dark brown but then I thought you know I quite like that 
I quite like it. It's the only part of my house that gives me like a sort of country vibe feel. Nowhere else does. And that's my favourite feel. So I thought, no, I'm going to leave it. Because I quite like that. And then just carried on going around all the edges. It does feel really nice to be getting the house done slowly, bit by bit. Like, it's really enjoyable. I've done so much already, and I've got door frames to be doing. The one outside the bathroom really needs to be done. I need to do that before the door goes on, and I still haven't. I was going to do it when I cleaned it the other day, and I, yeah, I didn't. But so many bits need doing, but it's really nice just to be doing these bits little bit by bit, because you just see it and enjoy it and yeah maintaining it and whatnot it's really really nice so this is it with one coat you can see it definitely needs another like god damn but the edges they didn't look as bad but they also needed another coat as well it's so small in there honestly it is so small sometimes i thought about changing it into like a i don't know something else but i don't know what i don't know if these random thoughts but all the edging done and it, here we go second coat yes oh loving it do you know what i did i put this paintbrush away put it in water put it on the window ledge when i got off gone off and cleaned and noticed i missed a spot and it was a spot that you you'd notice every single time you open up the door so i had to go and get i raided jensen's paintbrushes for these are art supplies and i used one of them it worked an absolute dream like it worked better than an actual painting brush so i was like oh i need to go to hobbycraft and stock up on some of these bad boys because that worked brilliantly yeah so i'm going with this like wood polish i don't even know what i'm bothering because i'm gonna put muddy shoes back on there but wood polish stuff and giving that a nice little going over i love the smell of it it's got an unusual smell but look look oh <gasps> i knew there was a reason for these baskets i need to go and get myself some more I do. Look. How brilliant is that? Everything's organised. Kids shoes in one, you know. Wellies in another. Putting this back up. I'm pooping, pop, pooping. Popping the coats up that I'll be keeping. Do you know, I'm sat here doing this voiceover and I'm looking out at the sea and it's like really black. Like you can just, oh, I always imagine like tsunamis coming up. Terrifying. I hate those sort of thoughts. But look at it before. Dark and dingy and chaotic. Just a mess to now i feel so chuffed look it was so worth it like it did take me longer than it would to do like a normal room but it was definitely definitely worth the time and i'm so glad that i actually tackled it because of the dust and the mud and the random sweet wrappers i found in there and cobwebs look gone and they're gone perfect so chuffed with that I love that little hanger. We've had that for like 15 years. But look at it before. You would not be able to find a pair. I'm telling you. I couldn't find a pair. And we had so many shoes in there that weren't needed. Now it's organised. We can just go in. Take the shoes you need. Will it last? Probably not. Probably not. But I'm going to try and keep on top of it as much as I can. And tell the boys, you know, when, you, when you're done, put it back. Put it where it's meant to go. Because it makes such a difference. And there we are yes well happy with myself and this is the pile of stuff that is going to charity because these coats are perfectly fine and these shoes are new literally been tried on and never used and then i had a shower look i look normal again i'm like hmm, yep i'm clean although i haven't got a face on and uh yeah look how easy it is just to grab my shoes i'm so sad the little joys i get out of life thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one